Hello, my name is Zachary Hoagland, and this is my Speakers Bureau presentation. It's called Zachary Hoagland, My Passion for Movies and Filmmaking. In the beginning, I've always loved movies. They have a very unique way of telling a story in a large projection screen or on a TV screen. Since I was a baby, I've been introduced to a lot of films, which today have become cultural icons and which also have had a huge impact on me. I can remember playing around with my mom's camera and my brother and I would reenact scenes from movies like the lightsaber battle in Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back. This was made entirely in my living room. I built most of the set. How it started. I realized that one of my favorite parts about watching a movie was studying the behind the scenes footage. This helped me see what was in front of the camera is not what really matters, it's what's behind it. When DVDs were becoming more popular, they included a bonus disc about the making of the film. As I watched them, I became very intrigued by how much effort it took to make that movie. During my high school and college years, I learned more about filmmaking and the knowledge of different types of cameras, sound mics, and lighting. With this, I've had two short films shown at the Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival, one on a documentary about lionfish and how they're damaging the coral reefs, and the other, a murder mystery thriller called The Promotion. What I Do Now, Part 1. Marketing videos for businesses and nonprofit organizations. Three examples of marketing films that I've made were Six Tables, a restaurant in Boca Raton, Artists with Autism, and Seuss Promesas, The Art of Maritza Longton. And here's my, uh, and here's uh, an only uh, a minute long film of uh, Seuss Promesas, The Art of Maritza Longton. So check it out. I came from Cuba in October 6, um, 1960. I came to Miami, that's where we landed. And shortly after that, my parents enrolled me in school. I didn't know how to express myself. And uh, one day in middle school, I met my art teacher, Mr. DiMeo. He realized that yes, I wanted to learn how to draw and paint, but most importantly, through his brilliance, his godlike demeanor, he introduced me to painting. I started doing oil work, and then all of a sudden I discovered acrylics. And I like acrylics because acrylics are very, uh, they're not as muted as oil. Acrylic has intensity. So acrylic is layered and layered and layered. It gives you time to think and ponder and going back to see what is the next layer is going to be. So you pray and Lord, how you want the other layer to be. And so it's kind of fun to play with the acrylic. I like bright and that's easy to see in my paintings. I'm all about color, brilliance and light that you would put a painting in your home and you could sit there and be joyful because the word of God says that the joy of the Lord is your strength. What I do now, part two. Editing internship for Channel 2. Some of the things that I did there, I was a video editor for TV shows, on location videographer, and I digitally transferred archived video tapes from old TV shows. What I do now, part three. Create visual audio children's books. I use a special microphone to record my voice reading the book and acting out all the voices of the characters. Then I take pictures of the illustrations and create voiceover video storytelling. This is one of the stories that I chose to record called Dazzle the Dinosaur by Marcus Fischer. And I chose this story because the illustrations are more colorful and uh, my voice is more animated. 
So um, I'm not going to show the whole thing. I'm just going to show the, um, uh, the part where I express my voice talents. They didn't wake up until their tree trunk lifted up from the ground and shook itself. I'm sorry to disturb you, said a deep voice. But my leg was getting stiff. It was an Apatosaurus. What are you doing so far from home? He asked. Maya decided to tell the truth this time. We are trying to find the cave where my family used to live. But we got lost, said Dazzle. Could you show us the way? He wanted to say home, but Maya interrupted. The way to the cave, she finished. The Apatosaurus waved his long neck thoughtfully. The Dragonsaurus is a dangerous dinosaur, he said. But as long as it is still daytime, I don't see the harm. The Dragonsaurus is terrified of light. The Apatosaurus reached his head above the trees and called to the flying reptiles for help. Down swooped two pterodactyls and a Quetzalcoatlus. I'll take you there, said the Quetzalcoatlus, who was big enough to carry the two little dinosaurs. But you have to be ready to go back at sunset. I'm not staying around when that Dragonsaurus wakes up. They reached... You can check out the rest of the video on my YouTube channel, and it's under my name. Zachary Hoagland. Skills I have and how I learned them. I've attended Broward College and obtained an associate's degree, graduated from Miami International University of Art and Design, interned for WPBT and Different Brains. I use Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects. And sometimes I use Adobe Audition to be a little experimental with uh, my voices. I edit at my desk on an Apple desktop computer. I record audio in a soundproof closet in my home for best sound quality. Hobbies and happenings. There's actually quite a lot I like to do. I like to do photography of birds, sometimes humans, and buildings. Doing voice acting, acting on stage, and donating my time at church to get footage for B-roll. How my neurodiversity worked to my advantage. I was diagnosed with autism when I was two. Since then, I have worked really hard to overcome some of the challenges I face. Through my hard work, I've graduated from both high school and college with honors, obtained an Eagle Scout rank in scouting, and had two of my films appear in film festivals. My keen eye for detail is something that autism has given me and it's extremely beneficial when creating film. I see what most people miss, like continuity and errors that were left in the film that nobody uh, had the um, advantage to notice, but I see them. The biggest challenge for me is processing spoken words. I have a hard time fully understanding what other people say, especially if it's new information and something that I need to learn from scratch. What I get out of my work, I get to meet interesting people, make a difference in our community, create art and be creative, and make kids happy through my storytelling. And that's it. And I'm really looking forward to great opportunities. Thank you.